classic returning to Broadway with a decidedly modern cast. That's right. John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men opens next month. It stars Oscar nominee James Franco, Bridesmaids Chris O'Dowd, and Gossip Girl star Leighton Meester. We sat down with them at the New York Public Library, not far from where they're in rehearsals, and I began by asking the group what it is like to prepare for a Broadway debut. This is a lot of first for me, and I'm so happy to be part of it. And seeing these guys work is pretty incredible. And I can't keep myself from crying once, like, we get to certain parts that are emotional. And <laughs> <laughs> we do cry a lot yeah. in rehearsal. I mean, it's weird. From Gossip Girl to Spider Man to Bridesmaids, these three have all made their marks on the big and small screens, but are now taking aim at an American classic, this time on Broadway. You called of Mice and Men the ultimate bromance. Or a bro tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> bro tragedy. Romantic comedy. That suggests you gotta have chemistry. Yeah. Plenty. Yeah, we do. I think I like the idea that these characters love each other. And I think that that will be what people will take away from our production of it. I hope. I mean, that's the key. How do humans connect in the face of, you know, this larger kind of system? And so if you're going to dramatize that, you better have chemistry between the people. And so when Anna Shapiro, the director, said she was thinking about casting Chris O'Dowd, I thought, um, no. <laughs> Is it one of those things that you got to meet to know if it's there? To like, like dating? We met, no, I had a sense, just from his work and from what people said about him. But you, you know, I have a sense, like, oh, he's a cool dude. And I was right. <laughs> Chris, let me share a recent description of you. Oh, sh <laughs> Bridesmaids bestowed international sex symbol status on the strapping six foot four Irishman with the self dismissed teddy bear looks. Can yeah, you confirm yeah. or deny your international sex symbol status? Confirm. <laughs> self dismissed teddy bear look. That's what it says. That's not even a description of something. Self dismissed. I've never heard of self dismissed. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Ask our writer. That's you. That's me. <laughs> you guys agree? <laughs> Late. Yeah, sure. Of course. Well, uh, well it took you a long time. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, James. Definitely a teddy bear. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you can't blame a person for looking. Well, that depends what she's looking for. Leighton, your character, not to be uncharitable, but she's, she's kind of bad. And how do I know this? She's dangerous to herself and to men, wow. according to an old DVD. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Of all the things they can pull out of the film, that's what they... <laughs> can I see this? It's crazy. Wow. I think this is obviously very old. And I think it's sort of the point, you know? I mean, I think that ultimately, in a very um, subliminal way, uh, Steinbeck wrote it as a commentary on how women are treated. You think it's a commentary because she's almost a caricature? She's this temptress? Well, I mean, Steinbeck said it himself. He says she's an object. She's, she's not even given a name. Um, she's basically just a catalyst for what happens. The stars have done their best to build excitement for the show, even posting selfies, a Franco staple, as they make their way to the stage. So I had to ask, what did you think of the big selfie at the Oscars? Oh, right. I saw that selfie. Uh, it's good. It's a good one. I took a few selfies. I did some videos and selfies at my Oscars, and I got criticized for it, and now she's getting a lot of attention for her, so I don't, I don't get it. What's up with that? I don't know. So in a way, you kind of, you know, invented that. I, I didn't include Meryl Streep and Bradley Cooper in my Oscar selfies, so maybe that's where I went wrong. So, never to be outdone, we create our own version of the modern American, the Of Mice and Men selfie. Steinbeck would be so proud. Well, previews start Wednesday, the opening set for April 16th, and it's really cool. Make, hopefully, we'll renew interest in this class. I like yeah. the cast. Yeah, yeah cool. they great. seem great. And it's a great play. Anthony, can you get a nice tight shot of Mr. Daly over here? Oh, no. Okay, so I just want people to know who are tuning in that you are not channeling.